a lot of sort of that 60s feel. Yeah. Do you feel that's coming back? Is that why we hear that on oh. Basement Rock? Or is that, no, that's the only way I write, man. Oh, gosh, John, I really hope it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Joining us in the studio is singer, songwriter, and artist, Fun Cam, he goes by. Cameron Frazier is how I know him. Uh, Cam, great to have you in the studio. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on your release, Basement Rock. Uh, this is, must be a pretty exciting time for you. It is. It is. We're, uh, we're geared up. You know, we've had some great response, mm-hmm. uh, and it keeps climbing, so I'm pretty stoked about it. You're fairly new to this area. Yeah, I, I came up here. I was supposed to stay two weeks, and uh, that was that was a few years ago. I'm still here. So. That happens to a lot of yeah, people. So, uh, Fun Cam is is uh, the, the name you go under. Why did you choose that one? It was sort of just chosen for me. I didn't really choose it. <laughs> it was sort of just chosen for me maybe by, you know, the audiences and whatnot. They started, they would chant it and yell it. So I just went with it. I, I had the opportunity to see you perform live over at the Gaty Theater, and I was struck by the wide range in the material you, you do. You certainly do some of the songs that we hear on Basement Rock, but you throw in cover tunes with your own take on it. Yeah, and I think that's because I, I, I like to do guilty pleasures. So I, I like covering <laughs> Madonna, Lady Gaga, things like that, you know, that are, and I have fun with it. Sort of turn it into my own because I, mm-hmm. can't, I can't do it any other way. Sure. Like, I can't copy someone. I just can't do it. I noticed that on Basement Rock, I hear a ton of different influences, uh, some some soul and Motown. I hear a lot of Beatles. Yeah, definitely a lot of Beatles. Uh, a lot of sort of that 60s feel. Yeah. Do you feel that's coming back? Is that why we hear that on oh. Basement Rock? Or is that, no, that's the only way I write, man. Oh, gosh, John, I really hope it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, yeah, I think the new record is going to be uh, different. Um, this one was more analog, so we okay. wanted an analog feel, and we spent a lot of time concentrating on that. And I think for this record, we're going to go the opposite way and just go pure digital and jump into the uh, sort of indie uh, pop sort of realm. Uh, the the band features quite a lot of instrumentation, your, 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 your typical rock band in, instrumentation, but you perform a lot acoustically. Is it a challenge making that transition? Um, you know, I think it's a challenge for me going back to a band because then because I'm always on my own time, right? <laughs> right, so I can do whatever I want because yes. there's no drummer. And then when I have and if to you play, want an extra chorus or verse, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know the difference, right. right? So when I play with a band, I'm the one that messes the band up, <laughs> right? It's my, it's all me. So that that is sometimes challenging. Where can we say you see you play next? So I've got a, a show every Sunday. At uh, Steakhouse Social at 61 here, Ontario. I've been there for that. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this Sunday we'll be there and every Sunday after that. Fantastic. Uh, if people want to hear some music from Basement Rock, where can they go and find that out? You can find it on Apple Music, uh, iTunes, my website, uh, www.funcamrocks.com. What's next for you? You talked a little bit about a, an indie pop uh, CD yeah, coming so, out. Is that the next big project? Yeah, so we're doing a, a record called uh, Suicide on Sunset. That's All the right. name of the record. It's, you know, it's a metaphor. It's not, yes. you know. Uh, and it's, it's fun. I'm really, I think it's, uh, I'm really enjoying the process. And all the songs are written. We're just uh, doing all the pre-production now. Fantastic. Well, fun is a big part of what you do. There's a lot of, uh, I want to say, a sense of humor to, to your songs. Thank you. Is that part of just that, that's the way you want to express well, that things? That's also because I find it hilarious that, you know, we're sta- I'm on stage playing music to people. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And the whole thing is funny. Right. And, and I want to make sure that it's, there's nothing egotistical about it. So if you laugh about it, it, hopefully it comes off more earnest, perhaps. Fantastic. Well, we're very proud to uh, be adding uh, Vegan Girlfriend to our Northern Tracks Independent Spotlight. It's been great having a chance to chat with you. Uh, Cameron Fraser, otherwise known as Fun Cam, thank you for being here on Talking uh, Thank Town. you so much, John. She don't eat me, she 
Turkey, but she'll eat so food.